Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Zimmerman and today is Thursday, May 16th, 2024. And I am attending the Congress for the New Urbanism, CNU 32 in Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, every year I like to pull together a crew of folks to go for a little fun run on Thursday and Friday morning. This is this year's Thursday morning run. I hope you enjoy it. We got everybody, do we lose any stragglers? Pick up any cats? All right. All right, Slido Park, theme one. Here we go. Um, restorative urbanism. This is one of the older parts of Cincinnati. In fact, this area was where the original University of Cincinnati was. In fact, the University Club is still there. But then they moved up to Clifton in the latter half of the uh, 19th century but they, they had the medical uh, part here for a lot longer, well, up to, than the rest of everything. And now everything's obviously up there, except the university part. Beautiful restored buildings. One of two statues of Abraham Lincoln. What's there about this? No beard. There we go. Ding, 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 winner. No beard. ice age things shifted if you look around in the distance you see that all the so-called hills of Cincinnati are at one level because this was a great Ordovician sea that basically started to drain and all the little critters which you can actually see uh, on that little uh, building there you can see all the little 
um, if you go up, you can see little teeny microorganisms, well, the microorganisms, but little, little fossils that show that. That calcium from their deposits basically made this area great for farming. Lots of grasses. Um, the Germans came in, we'll talk about tomorrow, to kind of convert those, because obviously it was expensive shipping all that grain eastward, so they converted it into pigs. And we'll talk about that more tomorrow, but the, the basis for Cincinnati obviously comes from that. The river then carves really steep banks into this because it's kind of new and fresh. The other thing I wanted to mention about this river, and you can see great history of Cincinnati right on the walkway that, that's going there. The so-called Seven Hills, one of my best stories, the Society of Cincinnati uh, wanted to find a sister city of Rome. So they looked down, they were coming down the river and they found the Seven Hills and it's called the Seven Hills of Cincinnati. And it became the sister city of Rome, true. And we have the statue of Romulus and Remus, which was stolen two years ago and they're recasting it. But that's a myth. It was actually, it, uh, I was so frustrated to hear that that was an urban myth. Um, the uh, reality is it was an early marketing ploy just after the founding. The founding of Cincinnati happened first. We'll see over there the Licking River. I will pass it on the way to the stadium and I'll just point to it. All right, any quick questions? Because we're about ready to go. Great place to, to hang out. Got everybody? That's Covington. That's Covington. We'll get closer to that, that you take the suspension bridge over to it. Everybody catch their breath, we're good. Nice work, nice work. Good job. We're gathering up over here. because we were the first professional baseball team. First professional baseball team in 1869. You might ask, why? Why Cincinnati? Why? Well done. Oh, that's a great question. Um, so the, uh, this area was really up and coming. As I, I mentioned, we had in, in migration of Germans and Irish, etc., coming because they had great, uh, that, remember that soil I talked about? really rich we'll talk about the pigs tomorrow but the, uh, the the nature was this was really prosperous so this is one of the this was the fastest growing city in the country and um, it was quite wealthy and so in order to generate even more and that's when this the seven hills rumor came in place and they suckered Rome into thinking that it was from the get-go that all happened at the same time they bought cricket players from England 
to be the first professional team. And so that's why, I mean, it wasn't they were professional because they started a league. They were the first ones to be paid, all right? We're not the original. We'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, all right, all right. Woo. Yeah, you're good, you're good. And the date, 1867, the John A. Roebling Bridge. Get in there, Andrew, get in there. Andrew, get in there. All right, pretend you like each other. There you go, all right. Hey, was this fun? No, come on, let's hear it. Is it fun? There we go. All right, one more posing. It's a little more than YMCA, but there you go. Hush. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little video montage from our CNU 32 fun run on Thursday, May 16th, 2024. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And if you want to learn more about the Congress for the New Urbanism, uh, just take a look in the description down below for a link to the CNU website. And I'll be back soon with tomorrow morning's run. And until then, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.